You should now be entering the Oblivion Tower and on your way to close it. Now, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last part where I showed you how to close the first gate, but if along, like inside the gate and everything, you can find these little, um, I don't know what they're called, but they're, they're like little packets kind of sound like water packets or something, but they can they have coins, they can have items, they can have tons of good stuff in them. And if you search the Dremora people, they'll have a Dremora heart, which is pretty good because if you take the heart, then uh, it will heal you for, I think, five seconds, and, and it doesn't heal you very much either. So you just need to... So far... Keep continuing on, and if there's anything else that you need to know, I'll say so. We've got to get out of here. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Okay, now in this next room, this guy has a Dramora Claymore, which is probably the best weapon you're going to come across for a while. And it has eight as its little damage thing, so it's pretty good. I pick it up. Unless I find something better, I'm going to use it throughout the rest of the guide. So I would recommend picking it up, and 
it, you're gonna have to drop a couple of items because you're gonna be overweighted. And there, if you, I forgot to search him, but you want to be sure to search him and get his key, and you do not have to do this lock picking part if you can get that key that he drops. So be sure to search him, so you don't have to uh, lock pick that door. I sure hope you know. There's no place I ever wanted to... No, no. Leader.